Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to demo the foil quill by We Are Memory Keepers. I'm also going to show you how to set up and use your design drives. There is multiple of these to choose from, but I have Design Drive Holiday and Design Drive Amy Tangerine to show today. There is tons of these to choose from, but these are the two that I have. So let's go ahead and get started. So the machines that you can use this with will be Silhouette, Brother, Cricut, and Sizzix. It's gonna come with all the attachments in each box, and it comes in three different sizes. I have Fine Tip, Standard Tip, and Bold Tip. I have the Bold Tip to demo today. This works on paper, cardstock, bookboard, vinyl, acetate, vellum, leather, and wood. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use it on cardstock. Okay, so inside the box you're gonna have your quill. Like I said, today we have the bold one. You're going to have all of the attachments inside, and you're also gonna have a heat-resistant plate. So the one that we need today for the Cricut Maker, and you can use this on your regular Cricut, Cricut Air 2, and also your Cricut Maker. So the C is gonna be for the Cricut, the A is going to be for the silhouette. The B is for the brother. And D is for your Sizzix machine. For your heat resistant plate, what you're going to want to do as it's heating up, you're going to want it underneath your quill tool. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use that in just a second. I'm going to show you a tip using a Teflon sheet. So you can simply slide your Teflon sheet right underneath. That way, just in case you forget, you always have that Teflon sheet to protect you. So what we're gonna do, step one, we're going to put C on here since we're using the Cricut, and we're just going to screw that right on like this. So just make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure that you remove your um, pin adapter out of your holder here. Then you want to slide your heat resistant plate underneath just like so. Then you're gonna take your quill and insert it like so until it reaches the bottom and then close it, just like so. Then you want to insert it into your USB on the side of your Cricut Maker. If you don't have a USB port, you can always use a power bank. To use your thumb drive, simply insert it into your USB drive on the side of your laptop or desktop. We're going to click on New Project, and we're gonna go down to Upload Image. We're going to Upload Image. If you go to Browse, you can hit Browse. You can go to Desktop, or right here in Locations, you can see where it says Holiday. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click on Holiday. I'm then going to click on SVG. Go to Easter. And then from here, I can pick what design I want to use. So say that, let's just say that I want to use this super cute bunny right here. I'm going to double click. And there it is. So there's our super cute bunny. And I'm going to hit save. You can rename it if you'd like. I'm going to click on it and hit insert image. Come up here to line type and we're going to change it to a draw file. So just like that. So at this point, we can size it. I'm gonna go ahead and change my, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so we can really check it out. I want to make sure that these are all the same, so I'm just going to select it and hit attach. So I'm gonna hit make it. There is our cute little guy, and I'm going to simply scoot him over so that way I have enough room on my mat. So say that I'm going to put him right about here. Okay, so once you get to the screen, you're just going to, just like normal, it's on draw, so it would it thinks it has a pin in there, is what it is. So I'm just going to choose like normal, because it's not cutting anything, I'm just going to choose um, cardstock, and it says to load your pin, but we already have our quill in there, we are ready to go. So I've removed my Teflon sheet, and I still have my heat protective plate here, okay? So then what I'm going to do is I just loaded my cardstock on here. There's nothing fancy to it. I'm using my blue mat. I just left an inch around so that way we can take this. All right, so you wanna get whatever material you're working with down. Then you wanna take some washi tape. It doesn't matter what kind, any will work. I know that We Are Memory Keepers is going to make some, but you're gonna take some washi tape. 
I'm going to need a piece of foil. The one that I'm using today is the little pack like this. These are going to be, it's going to be four by six and it's going to come with 30 in a pack. This is Silver Swan. So I'm just going to use a piece of that. And what you want to do is cover your area that's going to have the foil. Take your washi tape and you want to hold that down. So I'm going to go ahead and get my washi tape on here. And then I'm going to smooth it down and get the other side. Just like so. So it should look something just like this. So now we're ready. So we're going to move our heat plate, be careful with it. I'm gonna set it on my Teflon sheet. I'm going to load my map. And hit go. All right, we're going to unload it. This is what it's looking like. Any part of the foil that did not get used, you can reuse that. So you can simply just very carefully, I leave the tape attached at first and I'll go back and trim it later. So I'm going to peel this up. Hopefully you guys can see it really well. Just like that. Can you see that? How cool is that? I'm super excited. Can you think of the gift tags, the birthday cards, um, doing leather earrings? There's just so many possibilities or endless goodie bags. Um, just super, super excited about this edition. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. And there you have it. Look at that. How cool is that? And that's with that silver swan. So just imagine you can use any of the designs that are in Cricut Design Space or you can use their thumb drives. They're super affordable and um, I mean just look at the, the possibilities and you can always use their files as well to um, make shirts or whatever. So it's not just um, towards their drawing, you can use them as cut files as well. There you have it. Okay, so once you're done with that, you want to replace your heat plate right underneath. To protect your machine so make sure you always replace that and if you're done simply unplug your USB whether it's plugged into your machine or a power bank and then just let it cool down on its own leaving this underneath or leaving the Teflon sheet while it cools down so that is how you are going to use the We Are Memory Keepers foil quilt. It is that easy. It's going to be just as easy for any other machine. We Are Memory Keepers will have the foil in four by six sheets. And like I said, they include 30 in each package. Um, they're going to have a variety of colors. This one here is Shining Starling. You're going to have the four by six packs. They are also going to have the 12 by 96 inch. Those are really big. So we have red, blue, pearl and green there's tons more colors to choose from but those are what i have on here. i hope you guys enjoy your foil quill and let me know down below what's the first project you're going to create with your quill i hope you guys have a great day if you haven't already please hit the like button down below and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one